Okay then, thank you, welcome back. So our next story. You know, a gold bar is used as a reserve currency for international trade and to stabilize currency value. So when gold bars are presented as gifts, the gesture has a cultural sig significant, uh, significance, I should say, and highlights the gold status as a precious and meaningful gift. Minister of Solid Minerals Development, Mr. Dele Aleke, Alake, I beg your pardon, has presented the largest, latest gold bars sourced from artisanal and small gold mines and refined by an ag agency of his ministry. So during the presentation at State House Abuja, Alake praised the president for supporting reforms in the solid mineral sector. It can only get better from here, Asukwa. Yeah, exactly. You know, mm. Already, I, it's just a cherry news that um, the mm -hmm. Gold reserve has been able to even they they've even put like five million and dollars into the um, Nigerian reserve for uh, for uh, for reserve, you know which million or billion million okay million you know so it means that if we can tap into the, this mining industry this particular ministry we can make more money. There's a huge money to be made in mining. Yeah. But what we now have is we have illegal mining sites mm -hmm. across the country. Yeah. You know, because I'm not sure there's any part in Nigeria that doesn't have one mineral resources or the or other. Or the other, yeah. In Nigeria, mm. you know. I, I remember Babajide telling me that in Zamfara, that a particular governor, where he's living, lithium is just there on, mm. on the, where he's staying. But well, he didn't know until Binance just came and said, ah, this is lithium. In Zamfara there. Yeah. You know, so there has, there's no where that you will go that you won't find something. So this is gold. The, the, for the, uh, Mr. Dele Alake to go to the gold president to give him something that he has been working because I know he has been having a running battle with illegal miners mm. for a very long time. And thank God he, what he just did was, okay, this is what I want to do. I just want to make a statement. Mm. And he has been able to make that statement, you know, by going to tell the president, thank you for supporting this reform. Part of the reform was also for him to also bring um, uh, my name, um, um, Marshalls, mm. you know, to try and see how they can smoke out these illegal miners so that those who have legitimate business, who have licenses, they can actually go there and mine. You look know, at the go look there bars, and mine. Look at the bars on exactly, the president's Exactly, you know, so... I'm very sure the president will be proud because it's not for you to even get just one ounce of, of gold. It's not easy. Ah. It's not easy. But these are local miners coming up with bars. Mm. It shows that if we tap into this, we'll make a lot of money from it. If we tap into it, we'll make a lot of money. It, should, it shouldn't just be about oil, 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 oil. Yeah. We have other natural resources. Asuka, before, we came in, we, before we came in here, Emeka and I were just... Uh, reminiscing about uh, what we have in Ondo State. The, the second largest um, bitumen deposits in the world yeah, is in are here in Nigeria. Yes, it's well, in Ondo. But we, we prefer to import. Import. import uh, well, that's a sad, that's a sad uh, yeah. aspect of our story so as a we, nation. It is a choice we are making. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. You see, if... Our problem, like somebody said, we don't have an, a revenue problem in Nigeria. There are different sources of revenue. But our problem is in the spending. Our problem is in counting. Having a proper audit, a proper accounting of what we have. And when you don't make a proper accounting of what you have, you, you know, just embark on squandermania. And you keep complaining, there's no money. Meanwhile, there's so much you are throwing away. Mm. And you're not replenishing. Now, this is just from artisanal and small gold mines. Exactly. Mm. Not the big ones. You have $5 million already. Already. <laughs> you see, <laughs> you know, uh, the minister said some time ago that um, some unnamed powerful Nigerians, mm. you know, threatened him when he spoke up, you know, about the, you know, so the criminal practices in the mining sector. Yeah. So it's imagine... Especially illegal mining. Yes, illegal mining. No, of course, those are the sponsors yes, of illegal mining, yes, of including foreigners. 
including foreigners moving our mineral deposits out of the country. So I think that is where the battle is. The government will have to find a way to battle these legal miners to a standstill. Mm. Completely. You have to battle them. Because we can. Why not? Is that not why we are a sovereign nation? You know, we can't be expecting the international community to do everything for us. Mm. We must find a way to frustrate them and battle them. And make sure that if there are people, influential Nigerians involved in all these things, they must be brought to book. The other thing is that making it a, a, a reserve currency, we must have a clear conversation about it. There should be a public hearing by National Assembly because it has implications. Okay. You know, the U.S. abandoned the gold standard, you know, in the 70s because they felt, you know, it's, it, has, it had certain limitations, you know, to, you know, trade and all of those things. So making it a gold standard... At the, and at the same time, increasing interest rates, like the CBN has been doing, will be counterproductive because you've got to do it in such a way that it will be, it will be you know, the gold will be more attractive. And it's usually priced in US dollars, so it has to be more attractive to bring in buyers, you know, and then help you to at least get more value. Yeah. But you know, one interesting thing about gold is that it fluctuates. Mm. So it's better if we get big investors who will sell stocks okay. to Nigerians, yeah. yes, as exchange-traded funds, mm -hmm. so that people can invest, not in actually buying the gold, but invest in stocks, companies that invest in mining, you know, in goods, in mining gold or selling gold or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, invest in it so that the, there will be more value coming to the country from different areas. You know, it should not just be about, you know, oh, showing that we have gold and all of that. We must have a clear-cut conversation about it because there are many implications so that it doesn't backfire against the Naira. Mm. Okay. So, um, Asuko, as I always say, uh, President Bola Tinubu is retooling. We are retooling our country. Mm. And so, whatever tool we put in the kit is key, as he has said. Yes. We determine what goes into that kit. Mm -hmm. and, and then, because it can be done. Yes, of course. Uh, I know the, um, gold fluctuates, just the price, because mm -hmm. I, I remember when somebody was telling me, come and invest in gold, I was just like, ah, which, where am I going to wear? Will I? He said, any one you want to <laughs> buy, whether I watch, necklace and all that. I said, well, but I told the person that this thing fluctuates. He said, yes. But the thing is, is, is like an asset, mm. you understand? But just like um, Emeka said, it's something that we can start off with. Let's just have it, keep it. And at the end, at some point, we might find buyers. There are buyers outside there, and there are sellers. We can be the major seller. You see, mm. Thank God that we now have the London um, bullion market, you know, that are, they are ready, we are... We are we are actually having gold that they believe that is of international mm. global standard. Mm. So by the time we take it to the market, we should be able to see buyers. But just like you said, this is of, it's good that the president is giving his ministers things to do. Oh, yeah. And also... Keep, the, keep them busy. They have to be busy. Yeah. You know, we, the economy is moving the economy. It's changing the face of the economy. Yes, yeah. things might not changing be... Changing the dynamics. Things might not be as we are expecting immediately, but I just feel that in the next couple of years, Nigerians will begin to see those changes. Okay, why did we make those sacrifices? Is it, you understand what I mean? You know, why did we make those sacrifices? Why is it, because we are talking about rights now. I feel that there are things that the government is, this government is actually doing, so that people I, in so the future... Recently, or, I never knew, I never knew we had up to... 30 species of rice in this country. Exactly. Of course, oh, we, 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 we have. There's a so, lot. There's a lot. So do we really need to import rice? Well, uh, the point is, and, let and us... So that our penchant for imported rice has risen through the roof. Yeah, you see, part of the problem, actually, the population is growing. Okay. And then we have an uh, issue of, um, you know... Um, Headsmen, 
who cause problems. You know, diva. somebody just today posted his farm in somewhere in Benue State, mm. devastated by, you know, headsmen. So that remains a major problem, mm. you know. So we must deal with threats mm -hmm. to whatever resources we own as a nation. We must deal with those threats. We must overcome those threats. You see, petroleum, petroleum, wheat, and some of these other resources, mm. they are, you know, they are, they are, they are exhaustible. Mm -hmm. But you know, gold, you can't exhaust it. Yeah. It stays there. It's, you know, it's a treasure. Uh, but all those ones are easy. It's easier to, you know, trade in them, you know, for them to bring, to keep bringing value. Because look at, look at petroleum, a barrel of oil. Yeah. Brings, look at how many, look at how many things, how many byproducts by that you can come from it. What, but what I'm saying is that beyond just mining gold, let us also make it a tradable commodity mm. that will even fetch us more money, yeah. bring more international investors. So wherever we are trading it, whether it's in London, US, or even in Nigeria, we need to look long term mm. so that you know, more and more funds will come into the nation. We, we, we but, need but, to... Gentlemen, the, the story we are dealing with tells me the future is bright, especially yeah. if we uh, are moving with studied steps. We have never had mm. any problem in Nigeria beyond people failing to do the what is clearly written. Okay. Olu mm. Mojo, the interior minister, what he did in, in terms of passport oh, yeah. was in the policy document he met. So it was there. It's just, it's just it had been stated. All these things us. have been there. These things, there have been studies, there have been seminars, there have been you know, research papers and all that. These things are there. They can be done, but people look at this thing and they look true. away. Yeah, exactly. Because if it doesn't to... bring put money in their pocket, they yeah. look away. <laughs> and that is they have their own personal interests. Yes, that's our problem. Okay. Um... Which is saying we have all that it takes to remove us from where we are. Of course. Of course. To the next stage. Yeah. Um, as we always say, Mr. President, uh, Mr. Honorable Minister, I wish you all Godspeed. Okay, so let's uh, look at.